This is an overview of our Manager Hub capabilities within EC Pro. In Tokyo, we came out with our Manager Hub. Manager Hub increases manager self-service and engagement with their team by providing managers key information and actions to effectively be able to manage their teams. Managers have the ability to have a comprehensive view into information around teams' journeys, daily team stats, pending learnings a team may, may have, as well as other important dates. It also enables managers to receive notifications and take action on employee tasks, as well as requests that they have opened within the application. You also have the ability to curate content for managers, whether it's specific announcements or learnings around leadership development in one single place. Manager Hub is available via EC Pro or with HR professional or enterprise licenses. Let's take a look at Manager Hub in action. I'm in the portal as Maria Davies, who's a manager within the organization. Utilizing the navigation she, under her team is where she can find her manager hub. When she comes to the manager hub homepage, she has some different tabs that she can drill in. Across the top here, she's able to see what time it is for her team locally. She's in charge of a global team, so she's able to see all of her team's different time zones. Across the top here, we also see our proactive prompts functionality. This can prompt Maria to take action on important events within the application, whether it's learning courses that maybe her team hasn't completed yet, a new hire that's being onboarded, or maybe a career growth conversation. Down below, she also has some important information. She can easily see things that require her attention, whether it's journeys that her team members are on, perhaps an onboarding journey or a leave of absence journey. Down below is where she can also see key stats like upcoming team events. You can input certain dates and certain events within the application that you want managers to be notified about. For example, employees that have an upcoming birthday or even a work anniversary. You can also allow them to take action and invoke the email client directly from here so they can send an email wishing that individual a happy anniversary or a happy birthday. To the right is where Maria can also track key requests opened by her team. So she can easily identify what she can be more supportive or more, more proactive for her team on, whether that's an HR case or even an IT request. When we drill into some other tabs here, this is where Maria has the ability to see some key stats across her team here. This is drilling further in on those important journeys that her team members are on, so she can easily see who's on maybe a career development journey, who's going through onboarding, or who's on leave. All of these stats across the top here are completely configurable, which we'll look at in just a second. Down below, she also has some columns. She can easily filter for various employee types here, maybe location, status, or other parameters. She can also drill in and see some columns below here and view that information in more detail. There's different ways that Maria can view her direct reports and indirect reports. She can see this data in more of a card view and more of a list view, and she even has settings here where she can choose to show her skip level reports, being able to see multiple levels down. In addition, she can also search for an individual here as well. The three dots on the right allow you to configure various actions that you want managers to be able to take, whether it's drilling into the org chart for that employee, maybe setting a one-on-one -on -one meeting, creating a new journey for them, or also being able to view knowledge articles as that employee. This is a functionality that we came out with to better suit managers to allow them to be able to be more informational if an employee has a question. A good use case for this would be, you have a manager that's in charge of a global population. If that employee happens to be within another country, and that manager typically wouldn't have access to that knowledge article within that country, I can come in here and I can easily search for that knowledge article exactly as that employee would see this. So this allows me to easily come in and view that knowledge article as that employee would see this and answer any questions that they might have or be a little bit more proactive in how I can assist them. Some other tabs that are a part of Manager Hub include things like Team Insights. This is where you can embed certain analytics to help managers better understand data and what's going on with their team, whether it's information about their team breakdown or information about the latest survey scores or even information about tenure or PTO used within the organization, as well as what types of cases 
is their team opening? Is it a lot of HR requests or IT requests and other information such as journey or maybe learning information? This is the framework to go in and configure whatever types of reports that you want that would be applicable to your managers and help them be more effective. Lastly, within Manager Hub, we have Manager Library. And this is really a one-stop shop for you to embed that important information that is specific to managers, whether it's particular things that you want them to focus on this quarter that could link them out to a knowledge article within ServiceNow or even a website outside of ServiceNow or other important information such as manager events or maybe a video that you want them to be able to watch other helpful resources and learnings, as well as quick links. This is only a page that's available to managers. So it's really that one-stop shop and that curated content to provide all of their manager resources in one single place. Now let's go look at some configuration within Manager Hub. So I flipped over as an admin and utilizing my filter nav, I simply type in Manager Hub. And this is where I can see all the different pieces that I can configure around Manager Hub. Let's drill into team request configuration. Maria was able to see HR cases that her team opened and have a little bit of insight into them. And so this is where I can configure what types of team requests I want to be able to pull in here. So let's look at this HR specific one. This is where I can choose the table and the request type that I want to pull in. So in this case, we're pulling from our HR case table and we're pulling in a specific HR service. I can choose to pull in the request status um, and the state that I want to pull in as well as the user field. So this is where I'm saying that I'm pulling in all topic categories except where the COE is not employee relations cases. And I want to pull in those states that are currently work in progress. Down below is also where I can configure some display details. I can allow managers to take action on a specific type of case, whether I want to direct them to the case itself, or maybe I want them to go in and email the employee um, if a case hasn't been updated in a while. I can also choose what types of information I want to display um, on dynamic variables, whether it's a single record that we're looking at versus a multiple record within that request piece. The next component that we have is around important dates. So this is that component where I have the ability to look at service anniversaries as well as birthdays. So let's look at this case around employment and service anniversaries. This is where I have the ability to define the condition on this particular criteria, the user field or HR profile field that I want to pull off of. I can decide if this is an annual recurring event and I can also say how many days before this event do I want this particular uh, reminder to pop up, right? And so in this case, we have this set that five days before that person's employment start date, we want this to repeat on an annual basis. This is where I can choose what I want the action icon to be. Again, the action type, whether it's an email, um, what I want that tooltip to be for the manager, and again, more about that display name, that they have a work anniversary or multiple employees have a work anniversary. Next, let's look at team data configuration. Just to pop back over to Maria, this is where I can configure what stats I want to have across the top here. Do I want our managers to be able to see how many people I have on onboarding journeys or on leave or on offboarding? So this is where I can go in and I can configure uh, what types of journeys I would like to pull in here, whether it's onboarding journeys or whether it is offboarding journeys um, and all that additional information. Then I have the ability to choose what columns I would like to pull in here. So again, this is our columns within the list here. What do I want managers to be able to see when they're looking at their team? So this is now where I have the ability to go in and configure each of those different columns and the table and column display fields that it's pulling from. To add in a new column here, if I would like to pull in, let's say, location information, and I'll give this an order of 50. This is where I have the ability to choose what data I want to pull from, what table I would like to pull from, and the column display fields. So this is where I can easily pull in, you know, that location name or location type or office location, for example, and then again, easily input the order um, and choose what I want to pull in here. 
So this is how I go in and add in a new column within Manager Hub. Team filter groups is where I can go in and I can configure what I want managers to be able to filter by across the top here to more easily find members within their team. Lastly, you also have the ability to pull in to do's um, within a widget within Manager Hub. So this is where you can pull in um, particular approvals for managers that they have to do or maybe HR case to do's and you can easily go in and configure what HR tasks you want to pull in for managers and surface within Manager Hub or what types of HR approvals you want to pull in as well. That was an overview of Manager Hub. If you're looking for additional help, please visit the Employee Center Product Hub where you can watch more product demos, FAQs, events, as well as additional training. We recently did a deep dive on Manager Hub where you can learn a little bit more about the features and functionality.